from the Bay Area's news station. This is Cron 4 News Weekend. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our third live hour of Cron 4 News Weekend at 9.05. No, we've, we remembered to turn our clocks. <laughs> <laughs> We're just moving a little slower. We're going to get going here, yeah. <laughs> well, actor Michael J. Fox added fuel to the fire in the stem cell research controversy when his ad for a Democratic political candidate triggered harsh reaction from talk show host... Uh, Rush Limbaugh, and of course that was all over the place this past week. Well, we're going to be more measured when we talk to Charles Carlson. He's the head of the biology at the Exploratorium. They're launching oh. some really interesting public discussion on stem cells and other cutting-edge research. Oh, that should be fun. Yeah. Joining us this morning, Charles Carlson. He's head of the biology at the Exploratorium. He's the creator of Traits of Life exhibit uh, exhibition. It's the imaging station and the lecture series. Sounds very fascinating. All of what you're trying to approach, including stem cells, which is a yeah, very hot yeah, topic, yeah, right? Yeah. So we're we're uh, going to be uh, this Wednesday actually uh, having a public program related to stem cells, and mm -hmm. we'll be exploring stem cells. Now, I think the thing that uh, we hope to do, which would be really great, is we'll actually have live stem cells. These are mouse stem cells, not human stem cells, but mouse stem cells. I have some here in the flasks, and uh, these stem cells um, actually can become various tissues. So one of the things we get them to become is heart cells. Ah. So, uh, mouse heart cells. Mouse heart cells. <laughs> uh -huh. And you can actually see them beating um, in the flask because in they In just will that contract. short amount of time? In just that short amount of a time. And, uh, I was going to say, if you see the Traits of Life exhibit down there, you'll see chick embryos that are alive. And mm -hmm. one of the first things that you'll visitors notice, and everybody notices, is that the heart develops very early uh, in an embryo's existence. Probably the same is true of humans. How early? Uh, what are we talking early? about How early? Days with, with Within respect days. To, well, that's yes, amazing. yeah. And uh, so it, the heart circulates blood and other fluids throughout the body, and that's one of the first tissues that that arises when you make stem cells. Hmm. Well, can you can you just let's let's go back to the beginning here? Sure. And just, just talk real basically about stem cells, and why there's such a controversy about them. Well, stem cells. Stem cells can become a whole organism, they can become tissues, they can become many things. And so it's the kind of the very beginning, if you want to think of it, it's almost a seed for a human being or a seed for an organism. And so by knowing, the researchers hope to be able to tease out how, how cells go from being an embryo to a whole organism like us, where we're, we're trillions of cells, and they're all working together. And it all starts with one cell, though. And Which comes from where? It comes from an egg and a sperm. That, that no, no, actually, no, the stem cells Oh, the come, stem cell. Yeah. It, it, the stem cell originally comes from a developing embryo at very early stages. Mm -hmm. And you can see these, these, what researchers hope to be able to do at some point is to be able to take almost any cell from our body, anywhere, and turn it into a stem cell. So, and so, by, so bottom line, a human stem cell is indeed the thing to research with and not a mouse stem cell because because of differing features or whatever. Oh, sure, right. sure, sure. I don't think we're interested in raising more mice, particularly. <laughs> but they are... But I mean, are, it's not uh, like they would cross, you could cross pollinate. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no. That, that, that's all because, because um, mouse is a good model. It's close enough to us, and it's easy to work with. Mm -hmm. um, and, and nobody's going to protest. And nobody's going to protest. <laughs> At least I hope nobody protests. <laughs> I, um, but with... with um, Humans, it's, it actually turns out to be much more complicated than a sure. mouse. So, so. Uh, so this is part of a series that you're doing about is, interesting uh, cutting-edge research. Right, it's cutting-edge research. Um, we are, uh, the first one, as I say, is this Wednesday at mm -hmm. the Exploratorium. And then we'll do another one in February. And, and that particular one, we're going to look at the way the eye and the brain connect up in an embryo. So, and there's some amazing research now which reveals um, just how that connection, how those connections are made between the eye mm -hmm. and the brain. The Exploratorium is one of the more popular uh, activities for Bay Area families yeah. to go and, and, and just explore all of these things. Tell us how you make stem cells interesting for the average Bay Area child. Well, what, well that's always a challenge, yeah. but, but what we're able to do is we, we actually focus on the image and letting people control microscopes. And uh, at the Exploratorium, they're able to, to actually come up and manipulate a microscope and, and move around and see stem cells um, mm -hmm. in, in culture, like I have in the flask here. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we also let people uh, see stem cells that have become something, in this case, cardiac cells, and they're, they're beating away. So it's a way that people can interact with a microscope and actually 
do some of the things that a researcher might do in the lab in terms of and uh, and observing. for instance when you talk about the the relationship between the eye and the and the brain yeah there, are, do you also uh, explain how things can go awry what well we we do one of the focuses of this whole topical area is is uh, human health and uh, biomedical research so one of the windows that that uh, I think is so important for people to understand children to adults is that we frequently look at more basic animals more basic organisms mm -hmm. and because we are so similar in so many ways we're able to look at say mouse cells or zebra fish which is a tropical fish or yeast even and by understanding what's happening in those cells actually come to understand what is possibly happening in human cells and it's the way it's the very basis of where research starts oh, okay. so so when talking about uh, what's going on you're also talking about you can say what's going wrong you can say what's going wrong and in fact one of the things that people frequently do is they make things go wrong in <laughs> cells of other animals no, deliberately, sure. deliberately sure. sure so they can try to model what's happening in, in humans mm -hmm. and it, if you can understand the mechanism by which things go wrong then there's a chance to fix it uh -huh. Yeah, so, makes perfect sense. Is that yeah. what they call going towards targeted therapies it's, to fix that sort of stuff? It is going towards targeted therapies. Oh, wow. Very fascinating. How much time do we have? I wanted we're to ask out time, actually. We're out of time, actually. We're out of time. Darn. <laughs> Darn. We were just getting started Charles, with this we'll series. Have to, come, have, to come, have to have you come back in February when, you, when you're when you introducing sure. this this new uh, exhibition. Yeah. Because that one sounds fascinating yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it's amazing the uh, way that the eye and the brain connect up. Um, uh, was something that uh, nobody, in fact, un thought was going to be as, as uh, profound an event as it was. Yeah. And so it's, it's pretty neat. Charles Very Carlson, good. the uh, head of uh, biology at the Exploratorium, thanks a lot for joining us and, and, and taking a peek into the world of stem cells. Really appreciate that. So are these the dates for the lecture series? It's going to be November 8th and February 8th, and then mm -hmm. also April 5th, and we'll be looking at cancer on, on April 5th. Oh, oh cool. Excellent. Everybody wants to know so, about that one yeah. at the McBean Theater in the Exploratorium. And it's free. And okay. so, 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 do you have to pay to enter the exploratorium to, to take part in this uh, uh, lecture no, series? No, no. In fact, uh, we'll just be open for the particular uh, lecture Excellent. series. So it's an opportunity for people to come down there. Great idea. Yeah, okay, Charles, thank you so much. Great, great, great to meet with you. Very good.